Hi, I'm Danny with Auto and Sons. Welcome to our, our garden here in our backyard. I wanted to do a little video here about all the different pests that we have in our garden right now. So um, we haven't sprayed at all or done any pest control up to this point in the season. So I thought before we come in and start doing some type of remediation on our pests, I wanted to show you the assortment of pests that we're gonna try and deal with here in the garden. So um, let's start over here with our eggplant. Um, you can see here that we've got on our leaves, we have holes and little spots here like this. You can also see when we shake the plant that there's little white flies that fly up. So the little white flies are actually called white flies. They're very inventive in their name. And that's one of the reasons that we see some damage here. The holes, however, are caused by a little beetle. Um, here's one, oh, it flew away. They're very fast, they jump. They're actually called flea beetles. Um, so that's what's eating our eggplant here. Um, we also have ants that are on here that are farming some aphids that are on here as well. Um, we have a great yield coming on them. We have a great production here of our eggplants. So um, we want to make sure that we maintain our leaves on here so that we don't get sunburned eggplants. So you can see here we have a couple different varieties of eggplants and they all have the same problem. So I'm going to talk about all the problems and we'll talk about solution at the end. Let's go. Okay, so here we are at our noodle beans. And uh, on the noodle bean, you can see here that these are aphids on one of the flowers. Um, you can also see some of the bigger, fatter ones that are actually parasitized by a parasitoid. But we've also got some ladybugs running around here, and they like to eat aphids. So that's a good thing to see. We've got some natural control going on. In fact, here's one of the little, here's a ladybug doing its job um, in there. So, um, so that's good to see in the garden. Nice, healthy ecosystem going on. So we talked about eggplants. We've got our noodle beans. We've got our tomatoes here right now have minimal pest issues. Um, they can have... Uh, white flies can be an issue just like on the on the eggplants and also tomato hornworm near those issues yet so we'll talk about that in the next video if they show up um, so moving over here to our giant zucchinis so we've got uh you can see this white on the leaves that's actually fine that's the natural character of the plant that's not a disease um, if it was powdery mildew or something it would rub off but it's actually part of the plant so it doesn't come off um, they actually look okay. There's some white flies, but nothing to be concerned about on these. So they're, they actually are doing great so far. But if we come over here to our cucumber, you can see they're kind of yellow. If you get in close here to this leaf, you can see that on here we have, these are what's called leaf miners. Um, so leaf miners are in here eating away at leaves. Um, that's what some of these spots are. If we flip it over, you can see that there's kind of these white nets on the bottom of the leaf. Those are actually caused by spider mites that are eating our leaves. And then we also have white flies on here as well. They'll also cause some of that whiting, whitening. Okay, so here we are at the beans. So we've got bush beans here, and you can see that we're starting to get this little kind of speckling on the top of the leaf, and some of them are yellow. You can see the speckling that I'm talking about here. That is, and on the underside, we can see it also. That's coming from spider mites, um, which is very common on beans. And when it gets really bad, the leaves turn into this, and this is no good. We're not gonna get a healthy bean out of that and see that leaves even falling off. So if you look really close, it's hard to see on the phone, but if you look really close, you can see that there's actually webbing on the bottom of the leaf. And that is an indication of spider mites also when it gets really bad. So, so let's talk about solutions to all these different pests that we saw. So one of the nice things about uh, basic garden pests like this is most of these can be controlled with neem oil and insecticidal soap. So both of those things are available at the nursery in our garden shop. We have neem oil as well as safer soap, uh, which are both foliar applied, very safe for food products, very short um, interval after you need to wait before you harvest. So those are great products. They'll also pick up powdery mildew and other things like that that you might have issues on your other on your other plants in your garden. So and you might already have them in your in your uh, in your garden shed from applications on fruit trees or your roses. So um, both of those, neem oil, safer soap, that's great. It won't pick up the leaf miners. That's the one thing it won't control. But right now, leaf miners aren't causing enough problem that it's worth treating for. So that you're gonna have to go with something more like a spinosin or something like that, which we'd also need for thrips. So a uh, Monterey Garden insect spray or something like that. So thanks for watching, comment below. Please uh, watch our other videos on pest control um, for roses and other, and other, uh, other plants in your garden. Thanks for watching, have a great day.